In this video, I'm going to share with you two plays that are going to absolutely help you destroy the cover four quarters defense over the top for one play touchdowns. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel covers, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better alongside of me, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it helps out the channel a ton. And I believe it's going to help you because that way you're going to know whenever we release new videos and we release eight videos every single day here on YouTube that are designed to break down the latest tips and strategies that that uh, pro players are using that I'm using or that lab uh, or that we find in the lab so uh, I'm actually really excited to share this video with you today because a lot of you are going to face this defense in the Madden Classic if um, you're playing the best of the best the best of the best are going to know how to run match coverage you need to know how to beat it and there are two specific plays out of the Seattle bunch that will absolutely torch match coverage. I'm actually considering switching to Seattle um, for the tournament. I'm kind of trying to debate if I still want to just only run bunch tight end or if I want to run Seattle. Um, and because um, Seattle has bunch and bunch tight end. Now, if you want to get my full bunch tight end offensive ebook, that link is in the description of this video. Okay, guys, so I want to share this with you. And again, uh, we're going to come out and the play clear out SE out. We have the play flood in our audibles. Those are the two plays. That are going to give uh, cover four quarters uh, some trouble. Might, might even give you a third one here. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to audible down to cover four quarters. And we're just going to run it. This is cover four quarters out of 335Y. Um, this will apply to pretty much any cover four quarters. But anyway, all you're going to do with clear out is literally you're going to snap the ball. What you're going to see is that Tavon, I like to put Devontae Adams on an out route. Um, and I like to put Aaron Jones on an option route. But what you're going to notice here is Tavon Austin should get over the top. On the right for up and outside pass lead, as you can see right there, completely glitches out the coverage, and it's a one-play touchdown. Now, the next uh, the next way to beat it is to call the play flood. And what I like to do out of the play flood is I like to put the tight end on an out route. And let me just show you what that does. It creates a um, – part of the deal with match coverage is it's all about getting routes that are quote-unquote vertical, right? Well, a vertical route is a five-yard route. So it could be a five-yard out route. It could be a five-yard slant. It could also be, you know, a ten-yard out route as well. But it's the, the minimum is five yards. So you can see here what if I just put the tight end on an out route and run the play flood, I should be able to hit this streak over the top – um, on the right side. Now that time it didn't work quite as well, and and sometimes on flood it might be just best just to leave the leave leave the flat route. Flood is probably one of the glitchiest plays in the entire game, and it doesn't seem that glitchy, but for whatever reason, and I think it has to do with some of the alignments and some of the depths at which these routes go, um, you're going to see. I mean, this thing almost always will beat it, and I might, um, as you see there, if you do a little swerve catch, we're going to get over the top. It definitely beats press quarters now one of the things about quarters is i think a lot of people are going to start to shift to not pressing their quarters um if they're in the lab this week because they're going to realize that when you press your quarter sometimes you get stock press animations on the left side and so sometimes without a scantling um if he gets a free release you know it's an op automatic touchdown as you see right here Tavon austin gets that free release and as you can see it's an automatic one play touchdown if that's Tavon austin if that's without a scantling especially if that's tyreek hill that can be a big big problem for the defense so those are some bombs out of gun bunch that are really really effective um, and if you want to go through and just kind of think about it for just a second what it boils down to is we have three vertical routes on that side of the field unfortunately for cover four quarters and I'm not quite sure why but to me bunch is one of the only it's the bunch that really gives us trouble um, spread sets like trips and stuff it doesn't seem like that gives this as much trouble but for whatever reason because of the bunch um, be because of the way that the bunch is constructed, it's easier to bomb it because primarily the tight end or uh, – and really what I have found um, in my labbing of this defense, I've been trying to perfect this defense over the course of several months, but what I found the problem is is this receiver, Tavon Austin. If he gets motioned out, most of the time if he gets motioned out, he's he's going to be taken. He's gonna It's going to play more right. When you leave them in a bunch compressed set – for whatever reason, the it's like the assignments, it's not that they're necessarily doing it wrong. It's that they're getting their assignment messed up, right? And, I, and it's hard to kind of explain. Um, I think it's a little bit of a glitch, uh, personally. Now, I'll give you one more, and that's mesh post. And all we're going to do is we're going to streak Adams. That's it. Now, this one doesn't work all the time, but if you out the tight end, 
do basically this right here. So again, that vertical stemming type of type of thought process here. What you what you should see here is this streak should get wide open, or the post. One of the two will get wide open, as you can see. And you don't want that. You want to probably put the running back. Another little trick against cover four quarters that I've been working again working through here, and this is you know all through labbing and studying and watching players um, and playing against people that are really really good with their offense. Another formula that you can use to beat cover four quarters um, is is actually very simple, and I think it's actually very effective. It's a simple um, it's a simple out route to the running back. So, uh, for example, let's say you're you're running an option route. And this happened to me a lot in the classic because I love cover four quarters, and I'm labbing and been working on how to adjust out of this. But what you'll see is that because Aaron Jones has backfield mismatch and that turns into man coverage, he's going to beat that every single time, and so he's almost always going to get open. Now, what you could do against it as an adjustment is you could adjust that a little bit to create some some more, you know, some bigger issues. You could put a hard flat out there because that's going to force that to turn into a curl route where you might have a yellow or something like that. But anyway, back to mesh post for just a second. The same thing is kind of true here. So you could do this. I mean, you, you could do all you could do whatever. Um, but what you'll see is. When you motion out Tavon Austin, sometimes this does make R1 uh, wide open. Here he gets taken, but you can see there um, that 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 opens up that that window. Another thing is a lot of people's formula to kind of protect their cover four quarters out of a out of a bunch is they deep half the safety on the right side. So right here, I've got the deep half, I've got the safety deep half. But what you're going to notice is this is not going to be um, the best option because of the motion out and, and kind of where the routes are going to go, you're going to see that that post route is now wide open over the middle. And of course, I've got Zadarius Smith breathing down my neck. But those are some ways and some real practical ways that you can deal with this cover four quarters uh, defense. I don't know how much of a meta this is going to be. When I first found it, I don't think very many people were running it. I think maybe Zan was one of the only people that was running something similar to this. Um, but now I notice that it's you know starting to pick up a little bit more steam. So it might be more uh, popular than I'm you know than even I thought it would be in the classic. But as you can see here, post routes against cover quarters do normally do a decent job. But as you can see right there, Kevin King actually played that properly. So sometimes in bunch, it's just a glitchy formation because of the alignment of the receivers. It can cause some matching uh, mismatches. And the, the, the safeties are normally the issue. They normally don't play um, the same every time, right? The outside guys will typically play the same. The safeties normally can – sometimes they'll play it right, sometimes they won't. So, anyways, those are a couple of formulas out of the bunch. You know, really the best one to me is Flood. Um, to me, that's the hardest one to deal with. And the reason why is because is, – is because literally – it's just an instant release. You see that little fade? Like that little fade is like one of the glitchiest routes. And you can pass lead. If you have a good quarterback, you could pass lead it inside or outside based on where that safety is. So let's say that safety is in a deep third. You could pass lead it outside. Like that's another con that's another common adjustment here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So they're going to go to that. And then you go to flood. And if you watch here, look at that right there. I have a step on him to the right. You know, and I don't make, I almost got that over the top, you know. So the outs, the inside third is probably the safest way to play um, because it, it protects against the interior streaks a little bit better. It also protects against like post routes. Like you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. So that's a good adjustment. But again, let's say they go to like clear out, okay, and you go to uh, that cover four and you take, you know, take that guy and you do that. You know, you you just there's there could be some challenges like right here. This is what more of them talking about. clear out. He's got the stock fade, so he's fading to the outside. He gets over the top of that inside third. So it's really like neither one of those adjustments to me are really the answer to the cover four quarters. Actually, another one that I'm going to share with you a little bit later today. It's one of the glitchiest things that I've found all year. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you have any questions about this offense um, from Gun Bunch, shoot me a text message. Um, I have a whole hour long breakdown on it that I'd like to share with you. If you have any questions in Madden in general 
general, you can always shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. If you want to get my bunch tight end offensive ebook, it pairs very nicely with the bunch out of Seattle. That is in the description. Bunch tight end is an insanely effective offense. I cannot tell you how effective it is, and it just comes down to making sure that if you're making your reads and you're executing, your offense is going to be phenomenal. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys uh, on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.